Now, one thing that's really important in my workflow, which a lot of animators use as well, and if you get used to it from the beginning, it'll make your life easier, is we like to treat animation as if it's 2D animation. So it's, uh, you know, every, every frame is a drawing. So down here, we have the auto key switched on, okay? This is now switched off. So let's say, for example, I come to frame 12. There's no key here. And if I move this up, you will see there's no key that's been set. However, if I switch it on and I grab the other arm and I pull it up, it sets a key, but not a key for the entire character, just for this object. So you see, if I select here, there's nothing. So again, the important thing is to always set a key for every control on the same frame. So, so shift middle mouse, select controls, and then I hit S. Okay, now let's pose this character around. So once you get more comfortable moving around the camera, just holding down Alt, moving in and out with the right middle mouse, with the right button, and the middle mouse to do this. Let's go ahead and just pose him around. Okay, so now let's learn how we can animate this character. Now, one thing you want to just be aware of, that you don't have to do anything with it yet, but one thing you have to be aware of is how to know what's going on, right? So this is where you will tell what's uh, happening to your character as you're moving it and animating it. So let's say, for example, we take this, drag it up to there, you could see things have changed. Now, it's just important to understand that Y represents the up and X represents, you know, well, sideways. Z would be forward, but we've disabled that so that you can just focus on animating, you know, a simple 2D character, but in 3D. Um, now, one thing as well that uh, you should be aware of is what different things do, and there's always a hierarchy to them, right? So this moves everything. But then if I grab this, which is just the head, it's just going to move the head. And you can see him doing this little wiggly dance thing, right? Um, same thing goes to the face. If you grab the big box that surrounds it, it moves the entire face. But if you just want to move the mouth, this box moves the whole mouth. It's very simple. There's, you know, the the thing about animation when people are being taught how to animate is everything is kind of broken down in such a a boring way, right? So people start with the bouncing ball and then they go and do a leg walk cycle and then they would do, you know, all kinds of things and then all of a sudden they're thrown in the deep end with a very complicated character. Here We've simplified it to such an extent that you don't have to worry about fingers, you don't have to worry about a very complicated face. This is literally just a simple character that you can start animating with. And like I mentioned earlier, um, my son did a very quick animation, which I can show you. 